Stability AI, the same folks that brought us Stable Diffusion XL, have now brought us Stable Video Diffusion and they've released the 1.1 version on Hugging Face. Let's check it out. And here it is on Hugging Face. You have to actually log in. This is a gated model, so it asks you a couple questions about how you're gonna use it. Once you fill that in though, you can see over here, there's a couple of examples on the model card. And the general idea here, as it says, is Stable Diffusion Video 1.1 is an image to video diffusion model that takes a still image as a conditioning frame and it generates video from it. Some more details, the model was trained to generate 25 frames of video at a resolution of 1024 by 576. You can expect to get six frames per second using a motion bucket ID of 127 to improve the consistency of outputs. This is adjustable, but these are the defaults that you wanna use. To get the model, jump on over to the files, scroll down, and you're gonna see this SVDXT 1.1 safe tensors file. It's almost five gigabytes. That's the file you need to download. Simply click the button here. We're also gonna use a Comfy UI workflow. If you haven't used Comfy UI before, I've got an installation video right here. Otherwise, just follow along. Once Comfy UI loads, all you have to do is load that JSON file. So we'll go to load and we'll find that SVD comparison grid JSON file and open that up. Now you're gonna have this grid that shows up and you might have some red nodes. You might get an error message at this point. If you do, go and click on your manager and install missing custom nodes. Again, if you don't know how to do this, I outlined all of this in my previous video on how to install Comfy UI. Install custom nodes, and if there are any missing, it's gonna show up in this list. You'll click an install button. You might have to restart Comfy UI, but it's gonna walk you through the whole process. From there, you should be good, and it should look something like this. Let's go ahead and zoom in on a couple sections here. The first thing we're gonna do is go to this image only checkpoint loader in the SVD 1.1 section. You'll notice in this dropdown, there's the SVD safe tensors file, but it's a different name than the one we downloaded. So you're gonna to wanna to go in and find yours. Mine's SVD XT 1.1 safe tensors. With that loaded, we've got our model checkpoint in here that we need in order to run this. The other thing you wanna do is go over to this SVD image to vid conditioning, and you wanna make sure all the parameters are the same as what Hugging Face and Stability AI suggested. So for width, we've got 1024, height 576, total video frames 25, motion bucket ID 127, and frames per second six. That matches all the settings, so we're good to go there. If you roll over to the left here, you'll see this load image box. This is where you're gonna load the image that you actually wanna have it animate. In my case, let's grab this, what I use for a thumbnail in another video. It's this robot from NVIDIA. It has four wheels for sort of legs and arms. Might be kind of cool to see what this animates with that. Once that's loaded and everything else looks good, just click on the Q prompt button. You'll notice it's loading the checkpoint. That's what that green around it means. And now it's actually generating the video. It's over here now. Now I'm running an RTX 3090 GPU. This is gonna take probably about two minutes to run the full 25 frames at the default settings. You can see here there's 20 steps, CFG scale of two, it's using your Euler, and the scheduler is set to normal. Let's let that run, see what comes back. And here's the resulting video. It's actually been upsampled to 24 frames a second. You'll notice that the motion is really smooth. This is actually really awesome, probably better than I thought it would come out, in fact. It looks like it's rolling across the ground smoothly. Look at the shadows and the details there. It's almost as if it's been sort of ray traced, which is really cool. And you can see some artifacting, right? Like if you look at the spokes and the wheels, it doesn't quite know how to spin those properly, but the overall motion and everything else looks pretty good. We got to try a few more here. For our second attempt here, let's use this image that Imogen2 created in one of my earlier videos when I was testing it. This was supposed to be depicting sadness. It had these really wild looking weird tears. I'm really curious to see how this animates that. So let's cue the prompt and kick it off. That's both terrific and horrifying at the same time. Look at those weird tears. They're almost like tree trunks crawling down her face. I'd have to crop this image. It was a taller image, so the wider aspect ratio didn't quite work out here. I think you could make something really cool though with this. You can check out the motion of her teeth and her mouth. The nose is kind of wobbly at the end. Really bizarre one. Let's try another. 
This one's sort of a light bulb in a forest with a whole bunch of plants and leaves around it. All right, this one turned out a little weirder than the rest. So you can see that it looks like it's trying to almost shake the leaves like it's in wind. And maybe it thinks the light bulb is actually a flower or something on top of the plant. But at the end there, you see some tearing and it doesn't quite know what to do. I'd call this one a fail, really weird. This one is a robot I generated using Mid Journey. It's got that nice wide aspect ratio. I could see a lot of really cool movement with this depending on how it ends up working out. Let's check it out. While that's rendering, it's worth pointing out that most of you watching this are not subscribed to my channel yet. So go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button while you're waiting so you don't miss out on any of my new content. Really cool result. I was hoping for those fingers to be moving, sort of typing away on the keyboard, but still, cool parallax effect with the background and kind of rotating around the image. And you get these cool lighting effects on the top of the head and everything else. Not bad. How about my bacon and egg plants that I created using Stable Diffusion XL? And here's what we get. Not bad, it's kind of just scrolling up and down vertically. You see a little bit of change, a little bit of inconsistency in the way it renders as the frames get on, but not too bad. Also not too exciting. There's no real movement of the objects in there. It's just panning over an image. Here's another mid journey image I used for a recent thumbnail. Let's see how this one does. All right, here we go. I like the panning motion of the image. It's sort of panning to the right and downward slightly, but the eyes are kind of wonky. It's doing some really weird things to the face. Other than those abnormalities, pretty decent. And no test is complete without some sort of futuristic looking car. And this is what it did to the car. It looks like it likes to do a lot of these panning shots rather than adding motion to the actual objects inside of it. I'm curious to try one more. I have an interior shot with some fire in a fireplace. I wanna see if it'll actually animate that maybe. You can see here, this is sort of an interior of a cave house in the snowy mountains. And it's got a couple of different fireplaces. Curious to see if it does anything with either of those. All right, here we go. It did actually, looks like it animated the flames in the fireplace. Did some really bizarre stuff with the table. Looks like it's kind of wobbly. And then some of the furniture looks like it's waves. It's kind of moving across the scene. A little weird, not quite what I'd hoped for, but some cool stuff in there. Overall, super cool that Stability AI is putting models like this out for us to test in an open source way. Obviously, it's not on par with something like Pika Labs and their motion brush technology, but cool nonetheless. Let me know what you end up creating down in the comments below. We can see what works well and what doesn't work so well. As always, I'm Brian Lovett, and remember, all your tech are belong to us. I'm the virtual prophet in the tech town. Break it down, AI, wearing the crown. From basics to complex, never let you down. All your tech, AI, earning the renown.